Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well and uh, safe during our our COVID pandemic. I'm um, missing the crack with you, missing the crack with photographing nature and our workshops and all that. But uh, hopefully, in time, we'll get back to some form of normality. So uh, I hope it. I hope you are keeping well. Listen, this is a quick run through of a. Uh, Topaz Denoise, which I think will be advantageous to you. So I'm going to show you what I use it for and how it works for me. And uh, you can have a think about if it'll work for you, but uh, it sort of revolutionized my workflow a bit. So it's a piece of software. This is it down here installed. Uh, Denoise AI. AI stands for Artificial Intelligence and it's very, very smart. How it removes uh, noise is really, really smart. But it's standalone bit of software or uh, you can set it up as a plugin in Lightroom here, which I have done. So, if you're in the develop module, you can set it up as an external editor, which I have done there. So, you can just uh, fire your photo out into Denoise and then fire back in when done. But listen, I'll take you from the start. So, what I've done here is I've went into the develop module on this. I've looked up some of these J shots from Oxford Island, March 2020, and we've got a photo here. Of J and it's a bit underexposed. As you can see, shot at 1 over 640, not the best of settings. I was trying to get a flan in, missed it. So the static shot is uh, shutter speed way too high. So, but I think I can keep this by using denoise. Now, the first thing I want to do is obviously is change the exposure because it's underexposed. But the more I lighten that, it looks a lot nicer now. But if I go into the background, you can see all this noise here, which is actually taken away from the sharpness on the head of the bird. All the noise there as well. So, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the exposure as it is, and I'm going to crop it to the perspective that I want. And I'm going to leave this nice angle to it, because I think that leads you in nicely. So... I'm not going to do anything else until you use denoise on it because you need to use denoise. It's important that you use denoise early in your workflow because if you sharpen things, you don't want to sharpen the noise because then you have more work to do at the noise when you do bring it in. So, so do it early on. So all I've done is change the exposure, cropped. At this point, I'm going to edit in denoise. Now this might, might take a wee while to do on this because my Mac is showing us age and I'm recording the screen so I'm hoping that it uh, doesn't take too long but I have these preset you, you set these on setup uh, so it's a raw image I'm putting it out as TIFF uh, Photo Pro uh, RGB because if it's not that it'll not uh, Lightroom won't be able to export the full color range 16 bit of 300 DPI which is fairly high res because that's what we want to do so it prepares the file and it fires it out into this is denoise here at the minute, okay? And then it'll generate a quick preview. And this is your preview window here. So it'll give you a brief run through of what you can see on screen. So your preview window, you can move around and see bits of the bird and all that. And uh, down here you have your slider bars. So you can remove noise, sharpen and recover original detail. Now there's two pieces of software. There's AI clear, which clears the noise across the whole image and there's denoise AI. I use denoise on this. Uh, I think it's a lot smarter, a lot easier to use. So you only really worry about these. But the thing is, it's preset at 15 each go. And as I'm gonna show you on this side of the panel here, it works a lot. So I'm gonna zoom out to 50%. And once that previews, you'll see on the right hand side here, denoised version. And on the left hand side, you'll see the original. Okay, now there's a vast difference, look at this, compared to this. As I move that along, you can see it totally changing. Okay, so there's the original, there's the new one. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything else with it, I'm going to leave it at 15 and I'm going to hit save. And what that does is it crunches it back and throws it back into Lightroom for me whenever this slider bar goes up. Now this is taking longer than usual because as I say I'm, I'm recording this video as I'm doing this and that's not uh, it uh, slows it down a good bit. It's quite processor hungry anyway by the nature of what it's doing. Uh, by removing that noise on a, on a high res raw like that it does take a wee while to do. So. so we're getting close to finishing at 100%. 
and once that does that it will automatically close and it will bring that file there into Lightroom. Now, if I go out of that file, sorry, if I go out of that file, this was the original which I exported and that is the one that we imported. So look at that for background noise, okay, there's very little there, if I go back to the original, there's the original and look at the noise in it, okay, and the noise on the bird as well. So I can now go into this one here and I can apply my normal edit to this. So just my usual stuff, you'll recognize this workflow from the workshops and courses, so I'll not dwell on it too much. I might even speed it up for the sake of this video. So that has applied sharpening to it and I'm going to take off the overlay mask and add a wee bit of texture, bring out some more detail in there. Now remember we noise reduce this, so usually when you noise reduce it in Lightroom you lose all that detail, but in this you'll see that it hasn't once I finish so a wee bit of that and 60 sharpening has come out of that. Let's have a wee quick look in there and I look at that. So the feather details in there, even the individual bits of uh, nut that it has eaten and crushed are sitting there. Now noise reduction with the Lightroom would have taken all that away, all that feather detail away. Highlights still in the eye, nice feather detail all around there. Just going to up the vibrance slightly and I might change the temperature up a wee bit to warm it up just ever so slightly to that. Now that is a very quick edit using denoise. Just run one scan at 15 h through it, and you get from this, which is detail taken out here. You can see it's softened because of the, the noise. Everything about it has been softened down because of that noise to this, which I think is an infinitely better shot. This I would have deleted because I knew that Lightroom wouldn't have coped with this noise without damaging the bird. This to me is a, a keeper. If I any, any stretch of the imagination. So I'm hoping that explains a wee bit of the noise to you. Uh, I'll have a look at a couple of barn owl shots that I did using it. So this is a barn owl shot uh, with a denoise pass on it of 15 and a sharpening pass of 15 and it has kept detail in the face of the bird. Uh, you can see there's a wee bit of loss of detail in it but not a whole lot uh, and it's definitely a shot that I could keep and publish where I wouldn't have before. Some other denoise passes, this one in particular, uh, has softened up really this background here. Nice sharp detail still on the bird, right down on the wings. Now you're not going to get rid of all the noise, it's not a magic bullet fix but it's certainly enough to change the shot, no not that one to change the shot from a deleter to a keeper. So this is a late evening barn owl shot. I uh, wouldn't have kept it at all, way too noisy. Uh, it has softened the background and it has actually accentuated some of the colours as well, sharpened it up nicely. So other one, I mean this is how far it was away. So it has uh, kept the detail nicely that edit. So one of the best instances of it doing noise reduction and keeping sharpening for me was on this meal bar now. So the original shot, shot at 400 mil, ISO 400, sun had already set. So you can see on this that the noise is uh, quite extreme in there. Uh, pixelate, everything pixelate in the face, the sharpness is gone in the face. So you know this it's it's not ideal by any stretch of the imagination that shot. That is the result from denoise with a bit of process in the light room. So the sharpness is returned to the bird. The feather detail is in there. Now this is a male so he doesn't have the same orange detail as the female does on the wing but the pattern is still there and yes it's still noisy. It's still not an ideal shot because the sun's not there to give it that light and I was far away at 400 mil but it's an infinitely better shot if I go to 2 to 1 on that. Uh, there's still detail in the face, there's still uh, 
feather detail to be had in there. So I think that's a good example of uh, where that can really, really work to eke out detail on that. Don't use it in macro because my macro is relatively noise free anyway. That's a Lightroom edit in the macro, so it's relatively noise free. Don't think it can benefit from sharpness or noise reduction on that, but certainly for bird shots that I do and wildlife at a distance, low light uh, photography such as this one, it can certainly start cleaning up backgrounds and things. So I hope that was uh, useful to you. Uh, Topaz Denoise AI, £67, I paid, uh, you pay online with PayPal and it's just an auto download once you register, uh, get your payment and away you go. And if you need help, I can help you set it up in Lightroom to add it in as this uh, external editor so that it pops it out and it pops it back in for you. You don't need to export or anything. But like you do with Photoshop when you want to edit in Photoshop and you finish. Uh, like remove a branch or something and it fires it back in. You just do the same here with Topaz Denoise. Works a treat. So I hope that was useful guys and informative and you've listened to me enough. Uh, I'll let you go. Uh, stay safe and I hope, do hope to see you all soon.